This is part one of why the majority of real estate professionals will sell less than 20 homes in 2020. Hi, this is Paul Calloway with Unity Home Group and EXP Realty. And why is the number 20 significant? Well, you know, the real truth of it is, is most, uh, most realtors out there are going to sell somewhere between, you know, six and seven homes a year. So, you know, with that, with that amount of homes uh, being sold, by the time you take out, you know, all the, the fees and the, the brokerage caps and everything that comes along with that, it really doesn't allow people in our industry to, to really meet their goals and make the changes in their, in their lives that they'd like to. So I want to talk to you about the, the 16 reasons um, why this is and, and typically why this happens. And today we'll go over the top three and we'll go over uh, the rest of them in, in future segments. So number one, um, they don't have a written goal. So basically they come up with an idea of like, yeah, I want to, I want to sell 30 homes this year or 40 homes this year but they don't put it in writing. They don't put it up someplace where they're going to see it every day. And so it's not front of mind. And everybody knows the way life works is typically whatever is front of mind is what you're going to put your energy and effort toward, right? So you really want to have a written goal where you're gonna be looking at it. It's gonna be up on the whiteboard in front of you, or it's going to be on your computer. It's gonna be something that you revisit on a daily basis, right? And then number two, they're doing it part-time. Now that doesn't mean that they necessarily have to be you know, have to have another job, they could literally be full-time realtors, but performing like a part-time realtor, right? And what I mean by that is, you know, there's so many of us that really enjoy this career field because of the freedom that it provides for us. You know, we don't necessarily have set hours that we have to be in the office and have to work, but sometimes that freedom can be a double-edged sword too. And what I'd like you to ask yourself is, if you were hiring you as an employee, would you know would you hire yourself um, would you actually keep yourself on the payroll if you were having to pay for your services and i think that is a really great question to keep ourselves in check and so just think about that you know are you are you doing this full-time um, because honestly if you're working in real estate part-time and you think you know I, i've got to get to a place where i can step away from my full-time job or you know i've got to get to a place where i can really commit to this it just is really difficult to ever get there because there's always always things that come up and there's always excuses. Um, there's a great saying that you have to burn the, the boats to take the island. And I really, tr I really truly believe that that is the case, especially in this career field. So, so keep that in mind. Um, number three is that, you know, they hope, they wish, but they don't take action. They just don't have an action plan in place to really make things work. So you really, you have to have some sort of action plan that you're, you're working on on a daily basis, a weekly basis, and you've got milestones that you're working towards and you're checking off the list. And that's really uh, the, the, first, the first three uh, topics here, not in, necessarily in that order um, of, of priority, but those are really three of the biggest things I think that keep people from, from selling more than 20 homes um, a year. So I'll talk, talk to you more about uh, the rest of the 16 in, in future segments. I hope this has been helpful for you and your business, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.